Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show, but I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program. We'll be right back to the show. But before we do, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Factor Mills. Dot com, where if you go to factormills.com slash unbroken50 and use the code unbroken50, you can get 50% off your first order. That's factormills.com slash unbroken50. If you're like me and you are a person who is busy trying to create a life, heal, work on their health, wealth, and relationships, and not to mention deal with the day-to-days of normal life, you do not have time to be going to the grocery store and trying to figure out what you're going to cook every single day of the week. In fact, one time I did the math and I realized I was spending over 15 hours a week at the grocery store and cooking. When I added factor, I got to use that time for myself, for my family, for my friends, for my community, and for my business. And so if you're in the place where you need some more support in the kitchen, head to factormills.com slash unbroken50 and use the code unbroken50 to get 50% off. Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show, but I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program. What's up, Unbroken Nation? Hello, my friends. I'm Michael Unbroken, host of the Think Unbroken podcast and founder of thinkunbroken.com. And I'm honored to be your trauma coach and mentor because I believe that everyone is capable of getting unstuck, cultivating self-love, and becoming the hero of their own story. I believe that when implemented correctly, the practical tools and education you will receive from this show will help you lead an unbroken and extraordinary life. I believe that no matter what we come from, that we all have the ability to choose ourselves first, to create and manifest a powerful and grace-filled future, and love the reflection in the mirror. I believe that every day is a day to grow, learn, heal, and change. That's why I started my company, thinkunbroken.com, which is an online training and healing and personal growth platform where you get everything that I know about how to get motivated, be accountable, get out of the vortex, and become the hero of your own story through community, connection, and commitment. For more information, visit thinkunbroken.com. Please listen closely as you may learn just one thing that will help you be unbroken. And please share this episode with at least three of your friends because we all need community and connection in our healing journey. And be sure to DM me and tag me on Instagram at Michael Unbroken so that I can say hi. 
I just want to thank you again for being a part of this, for listening and being a member of the Unbroken Nation. Now, let's get into today's show and make the world unbroken. Hard work. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. So if you're feeling uncomfortable right now, know that the change taking place in your life is a beginning, not an ending. Neil Donald Walsh. I knew when I decided to take my healing journey to the next level that it was going to be hard. I knew that I had a stadium worth of trauma to unearth and that doing so would be the hardest thing I had ever done. I don't want to sugarcoat this shit. What you are about to embark on throughout this journey is going to test every bit of spirit that you have. That's the truth. For years, I felt misaligned with who I was because I was working hard for the wrong things with the wrong motives. I chased money, drugs, material possessions, and women. But those endeavors didn't make my life better. And because of that, my efforts, while fruitful, at most times were also disastrous. When I made my choice to take the first step, I came to the understanding that the hard work ahead could not be measured against metrics or timelines. Measuring the success of the hard work involved in healing trauma is based around the understanding of who you are in the current moment and if you are moving in the direction of your wants, needs, and interests relative to who you want to be. There is no scale or bell curve to see if the work you are doing is paying off. Thus, you have to be diligent in giving yourself the space to stay the course without judgment or persecution. On paper, the idea of self-care, healing, and going towards who I am felt simple. Yet, in practice, it was a daunting battle of will and determination. My journey of healing will never be over, but it is easier to continue forward without expectation or define milestones. I simply stay the course. Here are the healing processes that I didn't realize were going to be hard. Keeping my commitment to therapy, loving myself, talking about the past, letting go of shit that didn't matter, taking a stand for myself, sharing my story, telling the truth to people in my life, giving up drugs, not using alcohol to numb my emotions, realizing that I hated the person I was and doing something about it, packing up my life and moving, feeling emotion, crying, finding love for myself, identifying my values, wants, needs, and interests, honoring my values, choosing honesty at all times, being single, being celibate, including porn, going to the gym, eating healthy and nourishing food, celebrating my victories, owning up to my own shit, asking for help, and most importantly, owning who I am. All of these processes were possible because I chose to have the courage to tap into the exact person that I felt was inside. Owning yourself includes owning the good, the bad, and the ugly. Owning who I am is something that I still do every day, even though for years I have felt very in tune with who I am. I am always growing, always changing, always learning, and always moving forward. Owning myself includes the times when I am successful and when I fail. Both are equally important. I believe that ownership is the hardest thing that you can do because owning your story means that you have to accept that really bad shit happened to you. It fucking sucks to have to come to terms with the facts that you were beaten, emotionally abused, molested, or anything else in between. You have to accept that the abuse that you suffered was not your fault. The potential of becoming you can be terrifying. When your environment has set the expectation that you are a failure and you own up to that in life, business, and relationships, then reframing that sequence and stepping forward is seemingly impossible. However, you cannot get to the checkered flag at the end of a marathon without taking that first step. And before you can set foot on the course, 
you have to decide that you are going to run. As you have read, ownership means doing what you know you need to do. No one can decide what that thing is except for you. What will hard work mean for you? The answer will reveal itself in time. You may find that journaling or meditation is incredibly hard, or maybe just getting in the car to drive to a therapy session takes every ounce of effort in your body and soul. We all start our mission in a different place, and the route will take us through different experiences and understandings of ourselves. The hard work comes in taking that first step every day. Hey, Unbroken Nation, quick pause in today's episode to tell you about the brand new Think Unbroken app. That's right. I just released a brand new app in the App Store that you can take the first course in the Think Unbroken curriculum, the five keys to healing trauma. It's a seven day course for free. All you have to do is go into your app store right now. You can pause this video and search Think Unbroken. That's on both Apple and Android. And you can take the Think Unbroken Five Keys to Healing Trauma seven-day course for free. This is daily coaching from me. It's daily activities, daily check-ins. I built this course in this app specifically to bring huge value to you in your life, where you're at and what you're trying to do and going next and becoming the hero of your own story. So check out the app store again, Apple and Android. Just simply search Think Unbroken and you will see the Think Unbroken app. And until next time, my friend, be unbroken. Time and patience. Let us remember that humanity's story has only two perennially reoccurring themes, struggle and progress. Brendan Burchard. Time and patience are not the same, but they are mutually exclusive in my experience. You may find that time and patience will be the cornerstone of your trauma healing journey. Three years ago, I was sitting in my therapist's office on the inner northeast side of Portland. It was a dreary, cold, early spring day. The trees had not yet started to bloom after a bitter winter. The sun would peek its head through the clouds in the early afternoon from time to time, but for the most part, the weather was ripe for sadness. As the sun poked through the clouds, reflecting off the droplets of rain sitting on the steam-covered window of the office, I leaned back in my chair and had the realization that I was never going to be done with healing. I looked towards my therapist and said, No offense, but I don't want to be in this fucking office right now. I don't want to talk to you about shit that isn't my fault. I didn't deserve what happened to me, so why the fuck am I the one paying the consequences for other people's behavior? I fucking hate this. I hate wasting my time talking to you, and I hate the fact that every Wednesday for years, I have spent my evenings in here or some other chair talking about getting fucked up by the adults who were supposed to care for me. This fucking sucks. I remember this conversation like it was yesterday, because it was the first time that I knew, without a doubt, there is no end to this process. Throughout the healing process, there are systems to keep us on track when we take a step back, and there is moving forward, but it doesn't stop. There is no day that you are magically not impacted by trauma. There are days that it will not exist, and there are days that it will remind you that it is always there. Some of the effects of trauma linger and manifest in different ways at different times. I believe that you can mitigate the impact of trauma and lessen how past experiences impact you, but all of the time in the world, doesn't make what happened go away. As I sat in my therapist's office that day, I also realized I had full choice over everything that was going to happen next in my life. This wasn't the first time that I thought this, but it was the first time that I felt it. It was a feeling that I can't fully describe, but if I tried, the word empowered comes to mind. I spent so much of my life always pushing forward because I thought it was what I had to do. And in that moment, I knew that having agency meant that I could do so with purpose and not just to do it. Despite the newfound understanding that I would never be done with my healing journey, I decided that I could be patient and give myself the space to heal. 
I looked at the undertaking in front of me as a business transaction. I considered trauma to be the problem which I could solve with cash and that I needed a solution for, and time and patience as the currency. When I compiled that data into my brain, I knew that there was no going back. I said goodbye to the idea that I would one day stop therapy. I accepted that despite being very pissed off. I do take breaks from time to time, but being able to bounce my ideas and understanding of self off of someone who is as skilled in navigating trauma as I am is a godsend. There is no quick fix in the journey you are undertaking. You are going to have to be patient, especially on the days that it's the hardest to do these things. No blueprint or book will show you how to navigate the next phases in your life. There are bits and pieces that you can compile from the world around you to create your protocol, but at the end of the day, you have to be patient with yourself, and you have to give yourself time to heal, even if it takes the rest of your life. You owe yourself that much. Unbroken Nation, hope that you just got a tremendous amount of value from today's episode. I want to know what you think. Please do me a favor and review, rate, and share the episode with three friends on social media today. It would mean the world if you did, because ultimately at the end of the day, creating community and connection is how we heal generational trauma in the world. And I need your help to do that Unbroken Nation. So if you're on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you are, please like comment, share, review. I want to know not only what you like about the show, but how I can make the show better, how I can make this further about helping you on your healing journey. So do me a favor. And when you do shoot me a screenshot of you making the review to my DM at Michael Unbroken on Instagram so that I can have a conversation with you, say hi, and more importantly, so I can share it with the Unbroken Nation. Thank you so much, my friend. Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show, but I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program.